what you were telling me about uh, about the program, can you just kind of pick up where you left off about okay. how you got started and that sort of stuff? So about 15 years ago, Marty Hennessy and myself started the Marty Hennessy Inspiring Children Foundation um, with the help of Tony Bennett and Andre Agassi's dad, Mike Agassi, was a big support as well. And over the last 15 years, we've provided uh, mentoring, uh, counseling, nutrition, fitness, education, uh, mindfulness, and entrepreneur skills to help kids to not only be successful, but to find a happiness and a peace of mind um, and a motivation so they can pretty much do whatever they want to do with their life. Um, kids come from all walks of life, challenge situations to great situations, amazing family environments to difficult you know, financial situations. And wherever they come in, whether it be the basement or the third floor or the fifth floor, we try to take them all the way to the penthouse, meaning the best schools in the world, the best opportunities in the world. And to date, we have 110 children that have gotten scholarships to college to Stanford, Harvard, Princeton, Yale, uh, Georgetown, Villanova, BYU, the Air Force Academy, Oxford, you name it. So, um, but to me, the most important piece is that they're happy. Because you can get into a great school and not be happy. Um, you can get into a great school and not have a calm mind and have peace of mind. Um, and that's really our end goal. Um, but we started this with the Bryan brothers, who were the number one doubles team in the world, in history actually. And um, um, the USTA is now duplicating our program in 22 cities. Wow. It's called, they're called USTA Excellence Teams. Um, and the concept is, if you're going to get someone in the game of tennis or get them into education, why not do it at the highest levels? Why not give them a chance to go to Stanford? Uh, we had a girl who's not only at Stanford, but she won the NCAAs this year. We have another girl who's at Williams, and she got to the finals of the NCAAs this year and won it last year in her freshman year. So we have kids that are graduating now starting their own businesses, and um, we're doing really well in the, in the private sector or in nonprofit work. So why, why, not, why just give them a racket? Why not give them a whole life? And, um, you know, Rocco is a perfect example of that. Um, the USTA took this excellence team concept and these 22 teams, well, it's, it's 11 now, and I think they're gonna grow to 22. They come together a couple times a year to compete in community service and education and in tennis. And they give prizes. Like, so if you win, in this case, Rocco got the chance to compete for a wild card into the national championships. So um, not only did he get to go to the National Tennis Center in Florida, but he got to compete against some of the best players in the country and the winner, him, gets the wild card to the big national championship with the top 120, I think the top 120 players in the world. It might be the top 256, it depends on the size of the I think it's 250. Okay, so he'll get to play with the top 256 wow. players in the, in the country. Wow. Um, and if he continues on this path, and we have, we have different, everything is earned in our program. So you start off with a couple days a week, just tennis, and then it becomes tutoring, then it becomes leadership development. And if they get into the internship, there's a 100% success rate. 